so we're doing EGR delete on Evo 6 what I've done already is I've taken it apart I didn't start the video from the beginning of where I started working but I'm gonna take you through the process of everything right now so what you're gonna need is a 24 spanner a 12 spanner and a size 10 so you take out 12 spanner one two three and then there's the fourth bolt over there uh, 24 spanner one two Just take it out like that uh, they've got copper washers in them what you're gonna do is you're gonna have to pull this vacuum line off here um, you're gonna have to unbolt the bolts here there's two bolts that go into there uh, they're pretty long bolts I did have them somewhere two bolts are going there and you're gonna take this harmonic thing off of there which is a size 12 and lastly you're gonna pull that off like that and the vacuum line this vacuum line that goes to over there and I'm going to show you how to do the process of putting it back together or EGR delete so I'll take this apart of here take that out of there throw it in the trash because it's junk uh, we'll take the heat cover off of here we'll get it sprayed up make it look pretty and Put it all back together hopefully everything works good you're welcome so the list of supplies which you're going to need are two bolts m16s that are going to fit in the hole one bolt with a nut because you're going to have to cut it if you don't get the right size and then we've got a blank off which is a bolt which is going to cut off we're going to blank it and um, okay. clamp it down there so as the bolt is going to go in that hole over there uh, you also just got to remember that you're going to need copper washers copper washers are going to be very important so that goes in there we're going to cut it we're going to bolt it down we're going to copper washer it it's going to be good So the little blank off uh, that we made for the recirculation of the EGR back into the intake manifold. Um, so basically what the intake manifold gets recirculated by the EGR is soot. It's unburned gases or it's gases. I don't know how to explain it, but it's soot. So it's just dumping back burnt gases back into your intake manifold to burn again, which obviously stuns performance on the car. So we're deleting that to optimize our performance. We're trying to keep the car as stock as possible, but try to squeeze out as much as we can without exerting the motor. So we're going to have to put a clamp back on here. As you guys know, I'm not building on a budget of 50 million Rand or 50 million dollars or whatever currency it is that you work in. I'm working on a budget here. So um, I'm trying to put back everything as cheaply as possible, but as functional as possible at the same time. So here we go. Uh, I've just got to find the clamp for this side of here. It fell underneath the car when I took it off. And then it basically goes onto this pipe right over here like that um, what I've previously done as well I'm pretty sure you saw another blank off so I used the original dump valve or the blow off valve and I blanked off the pipe that it dumps back into the turbo over there and then now just it dumps the atmosphere so we get a little bit of a whooshing sound 
you always got to remember to chamfer the edge. Pop washer. Yeah. yeah. So I've also run into a little bit of a problem. Um, a little blank off on the exhaust manifold that we've done. Um, it's the bolt is a little it's a little issue on the bolt so if you have a look at the shoulder at the bottom there uh, it's a bit too much shoulder so what do we have to do now is we have to double stack it or triple stack it with copper washers uh, to fill that void so i gotta run back to the store and get some copper washers and see what happens let's see if two work Two seem good. Two seem pretty good. Let's see the gap on this side. Two seem pretty good. Okay. I think think two will work. Let me just tighten it up and see what happens. Okay. It looks like it's tight, but um, I don't think it got any squish on the the copper washer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out again and I'm going to triple stack it. I'm going to put three on and uh, that should solve the problem. Get a little bit of squish on the washers as well so we don't get no exhaust leaks. So let's take this bad boy out once more. As I told you, or as I mentioned, you can see there's no squish on the washer whatsoever. So we'll do three. Three should be right. Three definitely will be right. And um, as you can have a look, there's the shoulder. You can see the shoulder ever so slightly. So we'll put three on and we'll fix the problem. So just got back from the, the nut and bolt shop. I uh, didn't end up getting three copper washers for the bolt. I actually ended up getting one fat flat washer and then a copper washer because it will seal nicely like that. So time to put it in and see what she does. Nice and tight, nice and tight. Time to start it up and let's see if uh, there are any exhaust leaks or vacuum leaks or if I've missed anything. Let's give it a bash. funny sounds I don't hear exhaust leak sounds um, it's idling fine there you go there you go so, it works proof is in the pudding that it works uh, let me put these tools down we'll give it a little bit of a blip see what it sounds like and take it from there So last thing to put back on is the heat shield, the cover. So I'm going to see if my guys have even started on it. Did you spray that thing? Yes, I sprayed it. Are you sure? Sure. Is it ready? Yeah, it's ready. There is, is it in the oven? Yes. Okay. So it's been sprayed. It's just been sprayed black. Um, just put a matte clear coat on it. and. Hope that the heat doesn't burn it off. The cover, so the cover is painted. 
and I've put it in its place right now put some new bolts on it I've got some new bolts because we don't want to put old rusted bolts even though we're working on a budget we put some new bolts in there we go just get it looking nice and fresh Last but not least, there's this vacuum pipe that goes to the EGR. What I've done is I've just cable tied it, zip tied it closed so that we have no vacuum leaks anywhere. So today I've just done the EGR delete. stronger but under 3,000 you don't feel anything you actually feel like still there's nothing under 3,000 um, I'm just gonna drive around a little bit and just get some rolling rolling pulls like this is second gear right now flat foot like this is second gear right now flat foot Budget build 
budget, everything on the car. So the fuel pump was not expensive. I think it was a hundred dollars shipped, less than a hundred dollars shipped from Amazon, and that was with duties and handling, shipping, the works. So thank you, Quantum. Fantastic fuel pump. Hope it works. Uh, we're gonna have to wait and see till next week, but.